All right, I know what you're thinking. Great, another cat video. This is a different kind of cat video. This isn't a video about a cat doing something crazy or a cat being super cute. This is about cats in Istanbul. My curiosity for these cats started when I decided to go on a run. And on my run, I noticed something. I noticed one cat, and then I noticed another cat, and I noticed all these cats. Even on this run, on this one street, I've seen a total of 30 cats on this one street. Even on my street where I live, there's a ton of cats. And they have a documentary about cats in this city. Kedi, kediden öte bir şey İstanbul'da. Kedi, bütün İstanbul'un bir tarif edilmez karamaşası kültürü ve özgünlüğüyle, özelliğiyle ilgili şey. But I realized that I could probably answer all my questions and curiosities in this documentary, but there's a more creative way of doing this. You know, I'd rather talk to a local about this because, you know, give it a little bit of a personal touch. Who owns these cats? They're usually homeless, like, they're just out. But people in Istanbul usually, they really care about animals. Like, Who feeds these cats? These people, they love them. They feed them. How do these cats survive in the winter time? They put blankets for them in the winter, make some bucks for them to sleep in. After talking to the locals and doing some personal research, I realized a few things. First, Istanbul is home to 30,000 stray cats. Second, in Turkey or in Istanbul, cats are actually tolerated. They're even considered the clean animal. Third, cats are such a staple in Istanbul, they have a Facebook page with 80,000 people following it called Cats of Istanbul. Fourth, these cats aren't adopted, nor are they owned by anyone, but they're taken care of by everyone. Huh, that's interesting. You know, most people would have probably ended with, oh wow, there's a lot of cats here and moved on with their life. But I decided to chase after it a little bit because I was so fascinated by how these cats were stray. There are over 30,000 loner cats, I guess you could say, uh, in the city alone. But they're well fed, they're kept uh, safe during the winter months. And all of this is so fascinating to me and, and it speaks volume to the culture here. So actually when I was journaling and writing down the, some of the facts here in this uh, for this video, there was one quote that just hit it home for me, which was, if you're gonna kill a cat, you need to build a mosque to be forgiven by God. I think that just quote is like so monumental to understanding Turkey. Ultimately, I wanted to show that I think just chasing even the smallest things uh, in your day-to-day -day life can turn into something really meaningful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, for me, this was a really fun video to make. And also, I wanted to kind of end with um, saying welcome to the people who are subscribing to my channel. Um, in the last month, my channel has blown up to double, uh, do two and a half times the size it was back in May. So I wanted to say welcome, welcome to this journey. I think this journey is going to continue to grow uh, in the coming months. So welcome aboard and leave a comment below. I wanna create a conversation here uh, about this stuff and just the idea of just curiosity. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.